We've seen a dramatic rise in the value of the U.S. dollar recently. We'll talk about the effects of this currency flux on U.S. corporates in today's edition of Credit Matters TV. Hi, I'm Olaf Adansi with the Corporate Ratings Practice, and my guest today is Jenna Lynn Tantua, a director in our Corporate Research Unit. Hi, Ola. Thank you for having me. Hi, how are you? So, Jenna Lynn, let's, uh, let's start with what the impact is of the strong dollar on corporate issuers. Sure. In general, we think uh, the rise in the dollar has a negative impact on U.S. corporates, but uh, to varying degrees. And as you said a while ago, the U.S. dollar has strengthened a lot. It's risen about 20% against uh, the euro and the yen. The trade-weighted dollar is at a, a high in a decade. And what we think this will do is it leads to um, weaker exports, stronger import competition, and weaker dollar revenues for U.S. Uh, issuers when they translate their foreign earnings back into U.S. dollars. All right. So you've talked about what the general effects are. What sectors specifically will be impacted? Right. So if you are a uh, domestic focus industry or U.S. centric, so this has no, this has no impact. Currency fluctuations really have uh, little uh, uh, influence on uh, domestic companies. But if you are a uh, multinational and a an large exporter, these are the types of uh, companies that we think would be hit by the strong dollar. And um, this likely are companies in tech, consumer products, and pharmaceuticals. We, we also think that um, the oil sector gets another hit from uh, the strong dollar because uh, in general, when the dollar rises, oil prices tend to, tend to decrease. All right, so what are the specific um, impacts on credit metrics in the U.S.? In terms of uh, uh, credit metrics, uh, we think it would be manageable because these uh, corporations, these large multinational exporters, they have a lot of cushion and diversity, which means that they have flexibility to, um, to soften the hit from the stronger dollar. Um, consumer products companies, for instance, we think if uh, they get their credit metrics get uh, pressured more from the stronger dollar, they probably would just uh, reduce um, shareholder um, buybacks at that point. And, uh, but having said that, you know, we think this uh, stronger, stronger dollar is uh, another factor, another reason why we think overall for uh, U.S. corporate issuers, it's very difficult to see an improvement in uh, credit um, quality at this point. Gentlemen, thank you so much for that overview. Thank you for having me. Gentlemen's full article is titled, A Stronger Dollar Creates More Risk for U.S. Corporate Issuers, and it's available on our website at spratings.com corporates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.